Don in London, hello. July 1st. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My substance of addiction, alcohol, my behaviour equally addictive around people, places and things. Wanting to be with the right people, in the right place, with the right things and doing the right things. Always trying to fit in, trying to be included and trying to work out how I best live. And that was during my drinking days. So why did I drink? Well, the first drink did do the damage, the very first drink. It took the edge off, offered me conviviality, joy, happiness, relaxed, sleepy. All those things which I didn't really understand or know about. So something which had been suppressed in me, even as a child, was actually impact, impacting on me in a big way. Suddenly I could express myself, my feelings as I thought they were. But actually they were quite suppressed and uh, you know, children should be seen and not heard don't complain, get on with life, put on a brave face. All those things sort of circulated in my brain. But after that, whenever drink was available, I drank, because that's what people did in my circle. So work hard, play hard, drink hard, all those things, and have a good time. And in the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s, life wasn't too bad for most of it, and I worked very, very hard at everything I tried to do. So quite a lot of success and then abject misery and a complete breakdown as I was exhausted and drink really took hold a couple of years later. Why? Because oblivion seemed better than reality. So these videos about living in reality, living in the day and what helps me do that? And what helps me? family, friends, community, professionals and a fellowship and that fellowship is AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. So when I put out these videos and it says Steps in Action, Alcoholics Anonymous, that is what I do. There is a 12 step program which helps me live life as best I can. Never perfect, never making, never going to be perfect and try not to judge the rest of the world as the rest of the world is judging me and trying not to be contemptible of other people before investigating. So, where am I now in my, in my program? Well, we got, got a bit distorted last night. Now, June, I was talking about step six in the 12-step program. Step six is all about my defects of character, mainly based on fear, fear of whatever, not being right, being found out, being undermined, not being acceptable, putting on a brave face when people ask me how are you, I'm fine, and ego which comes up shame and guilt. So my defects are fear, brave facing and ego. If I go into that mode I can get distorted in the extremes and not be able to be myself. So, step seven in July, I follow the Daily Reflections, an AA literature book around the 12-step program, 12 steps, 12 months. So July, all about step seven, which reads, humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings. And shortcomings for me are less of what I probably need, not enough of something. So what do I not normally have enough of? That's courage, faith and confidence. That's what can undermine me. Or I can have extremes of courage, faith and confidence without any foundation. So somewhere in the middle of all of this, I need enough fear, sometimes a brave face, and a little bit of ego to keep me going through tough times, but not preferred at extremes. And also I need courage, faith and confidence to keep on making progress and keep on learning how to live this one day. So it's all of those things, but at extremes where I'm flying along full of fear and no confidence or courage or faith, then life is one way. I'm reacting to and responding to calamity rather than a balanced viewpoint. So step six and seven for me, very appropriate. Last night challenged by someone who had information from somebody else about something I was doing. So I said, what is this something that somebody else knows about which you had a brief look at and then decided to come and talk to me about? And have you done enough to know about what I really, really do with my videos as it happens? And they said, no, I've never looked at your videos nor the content thereof. 
so for some reason I got angry and I thought I had a how dare you moment how dare you stand there say somebody told me about this and I've made a decision based on what I don't know but what somebody else knows to make a point to you about rules, regulations and laws in the fellowship of AA I always say in the stuff I write next to the main video I put out there there are no rules, laws or regulations in AA which is why people keep on coming back because even though we may get criticised for our attitudes and behaviour generally we are there to find recovery and share a message of experience, strength and hope to the newcomer so how did I react last night? Well, it was a very step six sort of reaction. And I think it was ego and pride and no humility in that moment because I was challenged without somebody doing their homework. Now, I know quite rightly they can challenge me because my outlook is different to theirs. And I don't mind that in the slightest. So if they said, I need to talk to you about what you do, having looked at it, I would have been able to respond, I guess, still a little bit fearful about what's coming next, because I, like everybody else, don't particularly like to be challenged in a patronising way. So, I told them to get lost, using expletives, and they didn't like it, but they trod on my toes, and I guess I trod on his too. But the crux of it was for me, when they hailed me and said, can I have a word? My view, first, my opening statement was, how's the family? How's the new baby? How's it all going? And they actually showed me a picture of their new baby and what was going on. I thought, all well and good. So what can I do for you? Followed by uh, a contemptible, in my humble opinion at the time, which wasn't too humble, challenge about what I do with my life and my videos. I live my life out there in reality as best I can open and honest, honest and willing to try to do better to look at my behaviour, my attitudes and what I'm doing so step six for me came really to the fore too much fear about something being challenged, pride got in the way I told them where to go and I do not feel right about that I don't feel right about it and I can laugh at myself or what I did or try and make light of it but I just don't like what I did I don't like behaving badly so the criticism it really is of me doesn't matter whether another person is patronising thinks they know better or is playing dad or uncle whatever I don't like it so I need to work on what I need to do in future courage, faith and confidence to meet the challenge of what we are on and I know it's ok to be angry it's ok to be angry but it's not ok to then start to take another person to task or take them apart or make them angry and then go home to a new family thinking what a bastard he is and you know it does me no favours so I need courage, faith and confidence to look with humility what can I learn from this situation next time I need to listen a bit more to really really hear what the message is and it's not about how it is delivered it's what is, it, what is the content of that message and what is the challenge and what is the challenge for me to do the right thing well, I'm still working on it because I'm human and that's the point I am a human being making progress 12 step program to look at my attitudes and behaviour to improve how I behave and live life and be content, peaceful, serene around living to the best of what I can do that's how it works and I guess like anybody else when somebody starts pointing the finger and saying how dare you do this or do you think you're doing the right thing old chap or just approaching me out of the blue when all I'm concerned about is their welfare yes I have welfare on, their, on my mind about them also wondered, did they want me to do a chair or something? And of course not, because they don't believe my sobriety is what it is. It's good enough for me. 
and I could go on and on but the point is this sometimes we will get challenged sometimes our defects of character will come out like mine did last night and I didn't like it I was more angry at me than the challenge even though I felt it was half-hearted ill-conceived without, without any foundation based on what they knew hearsay and gossip kills people and the yellow card which we have in AA which is what you see here when you all that stuff about keeping it in the rooms and well I don't my life is open and out there that's just the way I am but to be criticised for it well I guess I can retaliate too but not not the way they probably think I don't want them hurt I don't want them to go home to their family with a bad mood and that's what bothers me most so the amends needs to be made and an amend to self which is I'm human too I need not behave that way again and when challenged listen to the challenge properly listen to it properly and then decide what to do because it could be the right thing to do at the very end who knows I don't know yet so me there today July 1st what an opening eh for a new month new step all that courage faith and confidence to work on my shortcomings that's what it is my shortcomings can be courage faith and confidence it could also be lack of right information lack of right attitude lack of something or other a shortcoming not enough of something not enough information or too much information <coughs> what else was I concerned about this you see this is it uh, in the in the daily reflections book for July it starts off with the principles we have set down are guides to progress that's the big book just as a sculptor will use different tools to achieve de desired effects in creating a work of art in Alcohol Alcoholics Anonymous the 12 steps are used to bring about results in my own life I do not overwhelm myself with life's problems and how much more work needs to be done I let myself become comforted in knowing that my life is now in the hands of my higher power and my higher power is truth, love and wisdom so I need to work on truth, love and wisdom a master craftsman who is shaping each part of my life in a unique work of art and life is more art and also skill by working my program I can be, scat can be satisfied that knowing that in doing the best that we can for today we are all that God asks of us and you know my high power is truth, love and wisdom not my opinion, not my belief truth, love and wisdom, the absolute truth and not speculative truth or thinking I'm right because often I'm not yet July my focus in recovery step 7 humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings which is very appropriate after last night's tantrum by me shortcomings we have every feeling and thought available to us life experience and who we have met are our teachers we have lived at the extremes built patterns and reacted which is all I said the re extremes of fear, brave facing and ego trying to fit in with the right people, places and things and drinking myself to death as a consequence because I didn't know how to deal with my feelings the past, too much fear, hiding with a brave face and ego. Now we build courage, faith and confidence for today. Well, I need to work on not only building my own courage, faith and confidence for today, but also letting in the world all the opinions and beliefs which are appropriate, that is, hopefully truthful ones. Yeah, step by step, working to our capacity, courage, faith and confidence. With every setback or success, we grow. And you know I don't believe that pain is growth always sometimes pain is just painful and we didn't need it we didn't need it from the other person and they don't need it from us and we have to agree to disagree or maybe I come to an agreement or an understanding with myself and how I look at the world I need to do that and I need to be very very understanding and not patronising of other people's beliefs and understandings about life or how else will we ever get on with anyone by discussion, commentary, by debate without, without resort to anger and trying to undermine other people 
never never try and undermine another person and forgive always and cherish always all those words seem appropriate this morning about me and what I need to do and it's not about being right or wrong it's about forgiveness uh, making an amends it's appropriate to do so even though the ego in me and the pride in me may say I don't want to do that but I do want to do it because that's not me not me anymore and it was never me that's the way it is so what helps me in all of this the serenity prayer can do can't do and wisdom to know the difference you know, serenity is not a steady state peace is not a steady state there is always chaos and anger and difficulties around life I don't mean to make it more difficult for anyone else so the serenity prayer to God or to good conscience or just as I say to truth, love and wisdom and don't forget I'm saying I'm setting the bar that truth is what it is and I'm looking for it love, love people hopefully be loved back for what we do and wisdom is what we get every day living in the moment working on it not trying to suppress it so yes anger came out last night and f ego and pride but I prefer to look at the world with courage, faith and confidence that I can improve me but I can't control or improve another person so I don't expect anything but to keep my side of the street clean that's what the fellowship does it teaches me it's about me and my behaviour not the other person's that's it to God or in good conscience the serenity prayer God grant me the serenity to under understand no to accept and sometimes understand the things I cannot change people places and things courage to change the things I can me my attitudes and behaviour and the wisdom to know the difference and keep on knowing the difference as I make mis mistakes and make progress always in the day, always in the moment and just for today.